I got interested in photography uh, in high school. I uh, sort of wasn't really good at anything but sort of art class and uh, a teacher recommended that I do a co-op at a photo studio and uh, that was like about 15 years ago and I never really left a photo studio since then. So. Hey, my name is Matt Barnes, I'm a photographer and uh, we're on set today with uh, Head Rush at a boxing ring in Brampton. I love this job because I get to basically play pretend every day and, you know, play dress up and, uh, you know, meet lots of people. I'm sort of kind of shy and unless I have a reason to, to meet someone and work with someone and, you know, when I'm doing a photo shoot I kind of, you know, push all that sort of aside and can, you know, be who I really want to be. Yeah, we have a, uh, we work with like a really wide range of clients. We, uh, we do a lot of, uh, like, commercial works. So we've done, uh, stuff for Air Canada and Virgin Mobile and one of our ongoing clients is Harry Rosen. We do all their, all of their advertising and uh, yeah, we do all sorts of stuff. Shoot for magazines, shoot for you know, record labels, things like that. Yeah, I guess shooting Drake was one of the coolest things just to see him like grow from being like small time in Toronto to international success. Like my images got to be all over the place. One person that I photographed and I thought was really cool was David Cronenberg. It was really neat to, to meet someone like that and uh, had sort of a wacky idea for him and he was down for it and he was, uh, he was like a good actor and a cool guy to shoot. It was kind of an honor to work with someone so cool. You know, in the last couple of years we've got lucky that some of the clients we we're working with, you know, don't tell you to do too much. They're like, well, we like your work. We kind of want you to do you. And, you know, that's the case with the shoot we're doing today. We, we don't have layouts. We sort of, we sold some work through and did a mood board and we basically sort of get to, to build our own creative and do whatever we want. Um, yeah, we had a location scout help us find it. We looked at a few boxing rings and stuff like that in Toronto, but I wanted a place that was like really sort of dirty and scuzzy because it's, we're not going to see too much of the background, but uh, I think it's just nice if you see like, you know, out of focus and it's subtly just grimy and dirty. I guess uh, on set today, it's sort of a, I guess like a medium sized uh, shoot. It's a little bit bigger than an editorial shoot, but it's not as big as a, as a major advertising campaign shoot. So, and uh, working with a, with a team of stylists today, the bossy girls that do hair and makeup and wardrobe and they're uh, just two of the most exciting, cool people to work with in the city. They, uh, they make everyone we're shooting feel really comfortable, so I can kind of drop that from the list of things that I have to do, and I can just kind of get my shots, which is nice. And you know, being like a bit of a nerd in high school or whatever, I didn't really get to sort of experience all sorts of things, so later in life you can kind of, you know, throw those things together and reinvent it how you wish you lived it.